questions. So, today we will study lesson A, lesson 1 grammar. We will be only explaining the exercises. The explanation part of all the parts of speech is already been done. Exercise A. Look at the highlighted words, identify the types of nouns. Sheila and her mother visited her aunt yesterday. Sheila is a proper noun, aunt is a common noun. Number 2. A murder of crows was flying high in the sky. It is murder is a collective noun, murder of crows. Sky is a common noun. The kitten was playing with a ball of wool. Now kitten is a common noun, wall, wool is a material noun. Okay. So I will be explaining first, second and third of every exercise. Remaining you will have to attempt on your own and later on you will get the answers. Let us move on to exercise B. Fill in the blanks with the correct pronouns. Children hurt themselves while playing. Now I have written the type of pronoun also near it. It is optional. You don't need to write the identify the type of pronoun every time. But if you know it is well. Number two, I bought myself some oranges from the market. It is reflexive pronoun. Number three, please listen to him. He is talking to you. So it, him is a personal pronoun. Number four, I have been asked to identify the suitcase that is mine. Initially I had written there, it is not there, it has to be mine. Next exercise C, you have to identify the adjectives and type of the adjective. First one is done, there are 10 pomegranates in this basket. So pomegranate is 10 is a adjective of quantity. Number 2, this information is true. This is a demonstrative adjective. I have written just short demon. Number 3. Whose dress is lying here? Whose is a interrogative adjective. Number 4. Sheila is looking for her pen. Her is a possessive pronoun. Remaining you will do on yourself. Number D, exercise D, underline the transitive verb and circle the intransitive verb. Now, what is a transitive verb? Something, a verb which requires specification of an object also. And intransitive, it is not dependent on the subject or the object. Krish baked the cake. Now, baking, it, it cannot be only single. It has to be, you have to identify whether it is baking a cake, it is baking a biscuit. So, baked is a transitive verb. Bina is singing, underline is singing. So, it singing does not require singing what? Singing a song only. So, that is why Bina is singing, is singing is an intransitive verb. The children played Scrabble, played is transitive verb. It has to be specified. Kya khela? Scrabble khela. Iske liye aapko specify karna padega, isi liye wo transitive verb hai. Number 4. Teacher is operating the computer. What she is operating? Computer. That is why it is a transitive verb. So, in this way, you will be doing the remaining 8, remaining 5, 6, 7, 8. Exercise E. State whether the verbs highlighted in this sentence is a finite verbs or non-finite. The dubara se recap kar lete, finite verb kya hota hai? Jo person ke form pe, agar person change hota hai, subject change hota hai, toh verb bhi change hota hai. Or non-finite, wo change nahi hota hai. Thik hai, Veena is talking to her cousin. It's a finite verb. Talking is a finite verb. Students were asked to maintain silence. Silence, maintain is a non-finite verb. Number three, I am fond of gardening. So, it's a, again it's a non-finite verb. Number four, do you like sandwiches? It's a finite verb because she liked the sandwiches. So liked me ed ban jayega. Agar past tense hoga, isi liye wo finite verb hai. Similarly, you will attempt five, six, seven, eight. G, exercise G. 
fill in the blanks with correct preposition preposition you know what are present preposition which join the subject and the object tarun was educated in kolkata we are fond in or of we are fond of listening to music the program will be dash 6 pm dash 8 pm so it is from 6 pm to 8 pm very simple plane flew dash the clouds not on the clouds it is above the clouds remaining you will do it yourself join these pairs using the conjunction in brackets so i have written numbers but after numbering you will have to put it into complete sentences and copy these sentences in the blanks first it is done still i'll read it out shreya was happy she could not smile smile she could not stop smiling bracket so so shreya was happy so she could not spa, stop smiling number 2 the furniture has been rearranged the room looks more spacious you have to use because because is the reasoning so how will you write the room looks more spacious dekho number 1 kiya hua hai us pe the room looks more spacious because the furniture has been rearranged it is three parts mein humne sent rearrange karke ho gaya now i'll do number 3 Ritesh did not find the play interesting. Riya did not find the play interesting. You have to use neither nor. Neither nor may neither Ritesh nor Riya find did the. You have to put it did not ko found kar dena hai. Ne, I'll repeat. Neither Ritesh nor Riya found the play interesting. Okay. Ab main number six pe aa jaungi. फोर फाइव आप खुद कर सकोगे ही हर्ड द साउंड ही रश आउट हार्डली वेन यूज करना है तो सी नंबरिंग के हिसाब से हार्डली डिड ही हियर हर्ड को डिड ही हियर कर देना है हार्डली डिड ही हियर द साउंड वेन ही रश्ड आउट ओके हार्डली उसने साउंड ठीक से सुना भी नहीं था जब वो बाहर आया दिस इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस सेंटेंस Okay, number seven, eight are not shown in the picture. You will have to attempt it yourself. Interjections. Interjections are words which ex express some kind of emotion: happiness, sad, surprise, shocked, pain. All these are emotions. So I will attempt first two, three. Wow, what a beautiful painting! You can write something else also. Oh. I forgot to bring my house keys. O oh, is a surprise. Okay, something. Sometimes you you just realize that you haven't done something or you have just done something. Ah, I was expecting you. This is also a surprise. Ouch is related to hurt. Ouch, हम तब use करते जब हमको कोई चोट लगती है. Oh dear. Okay. So it is used to exclaim some personal feelings. Okay. In this way, you will be attempting remaining. Five six. Thank you. So you attempt all these exercises today only, and you will get the answers in your next class tomorrow. You have your English classes on Thursday and Friday, so you will get the answers tomorrow only. And wait for one more grammar chapter video. Thank you.